Hey everybody, Jim here, bringing you the first round in the April Malifaux World Series event, April Malifools. Uh, with me today is my opponent. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, hi everyone. Uh, Michael here from Auckland, New Zealand. Um, and I'm playing Lord Cooper today. Yeah, we have the Lord Cooper versus Parker Barrows, a, a right old shootout. Uh, the full scenario will be in the description. Uh, the I I have been elected attacker by the random number generator. Uh, we've picked our sides, we've done our deployment, and we're about to start the game. Uh, I have drawn my hand. I get plus one because Doc has arcane reservoir. And I will hold on to this hand. Uh, yeah, same with me here, Jim. Kind of the six. Okay. Um, well, best of luck to you. Likewise, my friend. I have a two for initiative. Mm -hmm. I would elect not to cheat. Right. Um, I usually allow my opponents to go first in turn one. But seeing as I know just exactly what Mad Dog Ranger can do, I'm thinking I might actually go first myself here. Um, so just to start off, I'm going to put Adversary on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll mark that there. I have seven models to your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten models. So I will have three pass tokens. Well, I'm gonna go straight ahead with Justin Cooper himself. Mm -hmm. So the very first activation of the game, perhaps it's no surprise, we're gonna open up with the Express Nitro Rifle straight at that dog to see him in precisely 14 inches away. Mm -hmm. I do have um, predatory instinct available. Um, what I'm going to do in this instance here is I'm going to use it on attack. So I'm actually putting three. Okay. And you do ignore cover with the rifle. That is important to note uh, for viewers who may not be familiar with this. Um, oh dear. Um, I will elect not to cheat and have my mighty defense of six I'm sorry defense of seven if you double click the stack that will unstick them Uh, 19 to 7. Uh, yes, that'll be a, a straight with... So be straight mm -hmm. I had a negative. Mm -hmm. So back to the straight. Uh, this trigger lets me draw two and discard after this. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. With any luck, though, the trigger isn't reliant on damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and indeed not, so I'm going to take two now. Uh, second, act, uh, second AP is going to focus, and then I'll use my free action to reload and shoot a bit mad dog again. Mm -hmm. um, this time I'm just on two cards due to adversary. Mm -hmm. A more respectable 15. We're both on 15. Do you want to cheat? Good stuff. I do not. Flipping three cards for the Joker is a good idea, so I hope to hit it. Did you confirm what happens if you red Joker with Nyx's aura? Um, I did not confirm on the in the FAQ. 
in the uh, game questions. Uh, I'm just double checking if it has been put through the rules community. Um, I've actually, we'll, we'll do a quick pause of the timer and I will just ping the world community, the world series committee for rules. Uh, and for those of you following along at home, the World Series Committee are the volunteers who put on these monthly Malifaux World Series events, and they are the ones who resolve rules disputes. Um, what we're currently looking into is the ability on Nix, or in this case Schrodinger's cat, to uh, treat a severe flip as a moderate due to cruel disappointment and it appears that they have come back and said yes it is because it it is a it is counted as a moderate so um okay uh so that was a uh, moderate damage or oh that was weak damage uh, it seems my opponent's microphone has cut out for the moment. Um, Mad Dog will stone to prevent. And we'll take two. So Cooper has concentrated, has shot, has sh reloaded and shot again. He has one more AP. has moved to hide from Mad Dog, which, honestly, can't blame him. That height to rock is a big impediment. Mm. All right, uh, it's over to me. Uh, we are going to go ahead and spend a pass token. All right. Apparently I got I jumped into the wrong voice channel, which was weird. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um so I used to pass token. Um Ah, perfect. I will use another pass token. And I will use my third pass token. Yep. 
my third uh, pass token on legs has just gone over to you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to double walk, even though it's not the full distance. I don't want them too close to get blasted. Understandable. That's a... Uh... They really are pass tokens with legs. That's a real good way of putting it. Um, hmm, pardon me. Uh, we, I think, shall have... I believe this is a good time for the Prospector to go. The Prospector will stun herself to gain a stone, is going to interact to drop a Scheme Marker, and then we'll immediately appraise said scheme marker. The appraisal goes off. The appraisal value is a moderate, so I will draw a card. I now have to discard a card. I will elect to discard mm, this card. The prospector is done. Stunned falls away. I'm going to go next with um, everyone's favorite dog, Artemis. Mm -hmm. I've got one AP left here, and I'm just not sure exactly where I want to end this move. I mm -hmm. think. I think I'm going to just try and get as far away from you as possible of using this forest to try and block my missile. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be it. Seems reasonable. I think... Sure. Uh, I will have Parker Barrows activate. He is going to go half inch, one and a half inches. Or, I'm sorry, that's two and a half inches, four and a half inches, five and five full inches with run and gun, taking a damage and gaining injured. But he is through the barbed wire. And he's run and gunning to shoot runaway number one, or the runaway that's closest to my board edge. My walking pass token. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what happens. Bang, bang. I have an 11. I'm on an 8 here. I'm not going to cheat. Okay. Um, what I am going to do, you said you're at an 8. I will cheat this card in. And I will be declaring Highway Robbery. So you will have to drop one of your scheme markers in line of sight to me after resolving. Still negative twist. That is moderate for 4 damage. Is it, what's the, the range of the marker that goes down? Uh, it's in base contact with yourself. Okay, and I now have adversary because I killed your your prey. That's right, and I believe at the moment there is line of sight between Cooper and Parker, although probably not because that barrels height two. Yeah, height two. right. the The rocks that are height two and the barrels are height two between us. Yeah. Um, well, depends where he I guess. Mm hmm. Parker is then going to use his second action. Oh, uh, when he kills somebody, he does a few things. One, he has a fistful of scrip where he gets to drop a scheme marker in base contact with the target before it is 
killed. So I'm just going to drop one right there, because why not? And I can draw their attention. I can choose to discard a card, which I will do. And a friendly model in line of sight can take the interact action. My prospector will take the interact action, just to prep for next turn. Uh, my next shot is going to be on the other runaway that's the, down there. And, oh wait, nope, I did this. The intention is this key marker would have been placed within three of your other runaway to give me plus one to my stat. Yep. Bang, bang. Oh, goodness. 18? Okay, uh, plus flip, no triggers to declare. That is moderate of four. I will drop another scheme marker. Yeah, after this model kills an enemy, it may drop a scheme marker in base contact. Um, you do have one marker there, but it's not near any of my terrain pieces, so I'm okay with that. Um, Parker has one more action, and I think what he's going to do is, um, there's nothing he really wants to do, so Parker is just going to walk a little bit. Um, actually, hold on. Yeah, he's going to just hug behind this uh, height two building. Oh, and he's done. Oh, wait, no, that's that's foolish. Is it foolish? It is. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's going to just walk back through one, two, three, four, and just be right there. He'll take another damage and another injured, but he'll be there. He's done. And he's still not in line of sight to Cooper. Let's go with the I have a plan. I have a plan. He's going to take a walk. Load up his uh, healing aura. I need to flip to five. Cool. So he's got a three inch aura of when I pass jewels by two or more. Mm -hmm. Simple jewels. I'll heal. And he's going to try to lead the way onto the archivist. I'm looking for mm -hmm. six. Uh, so he's going to push uh, four inches in any direction, and then the effigy will follow him. That's 
Okay. I think we'll hodgepodge effigy here, uh, emissary here. Uh, we're going to try and heal Mad Dog Bracket with something in my with plenty of wares. It goes off, and I'll declare the built-in trigger uh, something in my pack to give him the memento upgrade. He heals two, so he's back to full, and he gains. Companion. We are going to heal Midnight Stalker. Uh, it will not go off, and that's fine. We are going to a Weary Road, Mad Dog Bracket. We're going to move him one, two, and just within three, and he will drop a scheme marker. And then, uh, to the shock of no one, Mad Dog is going to use his companion ability from Memento. This requires me to discard a card. I will discard that card. Mad Dog will chain activate. Mad Dog activates within three inches of hodgepodge. He gains plus one move and plus one, he heals one, but he's already full. He will eat the scheme marker that was dropped for fast with Life of Crime. He's going to blow it to heck. This requires a simple duel to go off uh, of a five. Hey, it's a five. Um, we'll drop that. Oh, I'll save right about there. And Mad Dog will take a charge action with Run and Gun. One, two, three, and you know what? He just wants to go there just to just to be able to see his Mr. Archivist friend. Actually, I can see you there. And can I see you here? No. So we'll go there. Make sure that is eight inches. That is. All right. Uh, first shot with this is the Chesterfield shotgun. Um. And let me just double check the archivist. He does not, in fact, have uh, drain or uh, redirect magic like what his uh, spider friends do. I will spend a soul stone here for a ram on the attack. Here we go. That is a 15. Mm-hmm. I got to 17. I will meet you at 17. I will declare the burst damage trigger. Um... Uh, and you should only have a 16 because you do not get cover while within the blown apart marker. And you are defense 5. Yeah. Oh, you flipped a 12. I'm looking at the 11 that I just cheated. Goodness. I need more caffeine. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, anyway, uh, three cards pick the worst because you are not hard to wound. And that'll be weak of three damage and then two blast markers. So we will blast onto Intrepid and Lord Cooper for one damage apiece. And that was so much fun. Let's do it again with actual proper math this time. That's a 12. I'm up to 13 here. 13. I will... 
Let me just see here. I will go to a 14 with the burst damage trigger. Single negative. That'll be weak for another three damage on the Archivist and one damage on Intrepid and Lord Cooper. And our final shot uh, for this one, I will elect to spend a stone for a positive twist. I'm feeling lucky. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. uh, I will elect not to cheat. Uh, Mad Dog has done a bonus in three actions. He's done. So the Archivist is going to heal one here because I've won the jewel by at least two. Mm -hmm. Over to me, I suppose. Um, mm -hmm. I'll go next with the Rex. Mm -hmm. So we're going to walk charge. Mm -hmm. Um, now I've got this here on you, so I'm getting a plus here, and I'm going to proc uh, pretty true instinct for an additional plus to attack. All right. Black Joker. Ooh. Okay, so I'm on a 16 here. Mm -hmm. First 6. Mm -hmm. But I am on a single dig because I've used pretty true instinct. Uh, now this gives me the trigger uh, rampage, so I get to push 5 and you have to take the move duel. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we'll flip the damage first. It'll be week three. He will munch a stone. And he'll take nothing. I think he's going to push through Mad Dog like so to engage both the emissary and Schrodinger's cap. Mm -hmm. That is a move duel. It's 13 move duel. All right, Mad Dog's a five. He passes. So I've just got my free action left. Um, so I'm going to go for it. We're going to target. I think we're going to target. We're going to target Parker. Parker. Mm -hmm. So there's a move duel, and mm -hmm. I've got Adversary because I'm on two cards. Yep. Uh, injured only applies to defensive willpower, so I am at a 18. I am as well. Do you wish to cheat? I do not. So we're going to send you flying four inches that way, um, and you'll pass through the barbed wire if you can. Mm -hmm. Is it a... So it, it is going to be slowed by the oh, of course, yes, train? Yeah, yeah. So I'll un sorry, I'll just undo the place and I'll do a quick push this way. 
but cool. One, two, and I'm stuck in the terrain. So now to get me out of there, it's going to cause even more damage. Unless, is he within three of Doc Mitchell? He is not. Oh no, bedside manner doesn't help. Okay, uh, so that was Rex, yes? All right. You are engaging Schrodinger's cat. So, I think I will have Doc go. Doc is going to go walk one, two, to about here. He's going to assist Parker. He reduces his injured by three. I think we know where all my good cards are. And because he has quick cure, when he takes the assist action, he gains fast. So he'll use his fast action to emergency surgery Parker. Uh, and it will go off. Um, this is the best drugs in his purse. Um, we'll declare this will numb the pain trigger to give Parker shielded. And heal him for two. That'll be Doc Mitchell done. Stalker and the cat remaining, yes? That is correct. I think at this stage, what I'm going to do is go with the Archivist. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is have a shot at Mad Doc with our Inaudible Whisper. If you were in line aside of me, then I'm in line aside of you. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to straight off the top. I have a 13 willpower. I'll go up to a 17 total here. You will get me. Right, so um, it's going to increase the damage by one, and you either get to discard a tome or I draw a card. Mm -hmm. You will get to draw a card. But two cards, as far as I'm aware. I'm on mm -hmm. a single name. Yes. I'm not sure of the timing if I draw the card first after flipping damage, or before flipping damage. Or uh, damage. Let's take a quick look. Suffer damage and must either discard a card. I suppose it says suffer damage first, so I'll flip mm -hmm. damage first. Well, well that's going to be four damage, as, because I've got pillar late feast trigger for plus one damage. I'll so munch a stone for prevention. I will take three. Boop, boop, boop. And I'll draw this card here. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what was your dual total there? 13, wasn't it? Uh, it was. So you will heal from Intrepid Emissary. Effigy, excuse me. Yes, that's the one. So he's going to heal up to 6 again. Um, next, he is going to do the exact same thing on Mad Dog again. Mm -hmm. um, I think at this stage... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to just flip. See, I could um, take a wound on a friend, nearby friendly in mm -hmm. order to get a suit, but I think at this stage my guys are a bit wounded already. I'm going to hold off on doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flip a great card. Doesn't yeah! Um, well, I'm going to be at a 14, so this will be another heal for you. There's no trigger on this one. Um, I'm assuming you're not cheating. That is correct. I'm not cheating. This time will just be two damage in total, mm -hmm. and then would you like to discard a time? You know, I would not. Guess I'll get another card for my effort and get another wound. Yeah, you said two damage for Mad Dog. That's right. That's he will. He will take it. Okay. The last thing he's going to do is going to use his uh, free action deafening silence. I need a six here. Mhm. Mm that won't do it. This will do it here. Uh, mm -hmm. So this will let him place within four, and he will also heal one because he's beaten his duel by at least two. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I should go that way. Um, I 
think I'll just go here. Okay. And then he's finished. All right. You have Vernon and Wells and Uller. So I think we'll activate Schrodinger's cat. Um, Schrodinger's cat is going to take a walkie, staying in your Malasaurus's two-inch engage. Uh, I get a heal. I get plus one move, so I am now move six. So I think I can go one, two, three, four, five. Whoop, let's let's just do it like this. To go one, two, three, four, five, and six, and. I am going to attempt to disengage from the Malasaurus Rex. Okay, um, I'll use Predator Instinct here because it's a new activation. Mm -hmm. Would it be on a 19? All right, I'm at a 9. So 18 to 9 will be a straight flip, which goes to. Negative because I've used Predator. Yep. Um, so how fewer inches? Four fewer inches? Four. All right, that's still plenty. And we'll go one, two. I am no longer engaged. And Malasaurus is still in four, so I will drink Spirit. I need a six. It goes off. Please take a 15 willpower duel or gain Blight. Um, so that will be your Terra, terra check because I'm Terra 12. Oh, this is not target. This is a tactical. Oh, I see. Sorry. <laughs> reason I was thinking it was being diseased. Yep. So 15 is it? I need to leave it for this. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. So we'll gain a blight token as I understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if you would like, you can track it with poison. I have nothing that gives poison. And that's the cat done. Now, if I understand correct, the um, the rock in sort of the center of the board there behind Cooper, that is two inches height the entire diameter, even though it, mm -hmm. it looks like there's two bits to it. That is correct. So, all of my guns cannot see anyone in a pretty nice wedge behind that rock. You just have the stalker left, right? I do. I think I'm going to go with Uller here. Mm -hmm. and Uller is going to pitch a card to buy a site. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be engaging with two of them. Mm -hmm. well, I wonder if I should just go for Stalker rather. If I can get staggered on him, that seems pretty good. Um, it's a tough call, to be honest. Now, as a reminder, Hodgepodge Emissary does not have has an engagement of zero. Midnight has a one. Perfect. Well, I'll try to take advantage of that. So by placing here, he's actually within charge range of pretty much everyone. Mm -hmm. So that seems kind of nice. Um, and what I've done is I've put him within three inches of that ski mark there because I have a uh, free action that might be able to eat it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use that now on territory. I'm looking for a five on the simple duel. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. <laughs> Well, actually, hold the phone. Let me just double check something. Um, ah, it's not the cost. Okay. We're seeing if you could still get rid of my marker. But it is not a cost. Like, appraise has remove the marker, and then if it fails, you don't get anything.
So what I'll do then is I'm going to charge the Midnight Stalker. Mm -hmm. So when he activates, you just heal him, right? Uh, that is correct. Unlikely I'll kill him. But I suppose what I what kind of wanted was just the stagger anyway. So perhaps that's worth it. We'll charge him. Mm -hmm. um, he is manipulative. Would you like to focus before charging him? Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go for Doc Mitchell since he's potentially killable here. So I'm going to charge Doc Mitchell instead. Uh, mm -hmm. Manipulative is important, but also because Midnight Stalk is about to go, you're just going to get rid of Staggered. So what's the point? So mm -hmm. I'm going to go after Doc Mitchell instead. Okay. The good doctor, uh, good in air quotes there, has a 12. <laughs> I'm also on a 12. Do you want to cheat? I do not. Radio, I'm getting the uh, you're coming with me trigger, so I'm going to push you three inches in a direction and then place into base contact. Mm-hmm. Is a melee attack at zero inch? Uh, it is. Okay, guys, that, that, that being said, I don't know if I'm gonna... I guess I could push you into the... Yeah, that seems good. I'm gonna push you into touching this. Just to just touch the terrain there and just be out of range of the hodgepodge emissary. Mm -hmm. So you'll take one energy from that. And then I'll flip my damage flip here. Mm -hmm. So we're tied, so it should be... Three, so it's weak yeah, of so just, just one, and you'll also gain uh, staggered, and then you'll take another one and gain injured. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's down to two. Uh, at which point I will swing again. All right. What a massive eight here. Oh boy, uh, I am at a fourteen. Or I'm sorry, seventeen. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, I'll cheat. I think what I'm going to do here is... I'll go up to 18 here. Okay. Um, trigger's irrelevant, but maybe I'll kill him. Mm -hmm. We kill him. Last two cards of the deck. There you do. Blip. Good boy, Uller. And he's finished. Over to you. All right. Just have Midnight Stalker. So Midnight Stalker is going to activate and be move six and heal one. We are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we will attempt to leap. We do not. I will cheat this. I still don't, but he is a showboat, so at the end of his activation, he draws a card. He's done. And I have no more. The board is yours. All I have is one card. Bernard Wells and Hope in a Dream. So let's see what he can do. Or they, I suppose I should say. I really want that mask for that place trigger, but... Um... Okay, well, what I'm going to do is just flip off the top for onward. I mean, I'm looking for a six here. Mm hmm Oh. Thanks. That was the trigger I wanted, but that's not the card I wanted. So that currently would not go through. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So that's a, his uh, free action. Mm-hmm. The stalker has gone. I think I'm going to target him with our view of the endless. So this targets his willpower, mm -hmm. and um, it's just straight flipping. And you've got more cards than me, so this could could be a risk. But I'm going to try. Well, uh, I'm currently at a nine. I'm on a fifteen. Fifteen, and allow me to reacquaint myself with this action. One, two, three, and staggered. I don't have any triggers on this suit. 
I think I do not wish to be staggered. So I will cheat this. All right, and I have one additional IP left. I think with this IP we're going to shoot Mad Doc. Um, so same attack. Mm-hmm. On a 14 here to start. All right, uh, he's at a 13. Uh, he will be. I will not be cheating. So we have glimpsed the void trigger here. Mm -hmm. So I'm firstly going to put the damage against Mighty one damage. Um, then you need to take a 14 willpower duel. He fails. To the shadow realm he goes. So he's buried, and then when he activates next, I unbury it within one of your models. So mm -hmm. Interesting. I've never seen that trigger actually work before. So. But he's also staggered, so that's nice. Um, that is the turn, I believe. It is. Um, at the end of the turn, do you have any... Uh, I believe your archivist has treasure map for a four-inch push, correct? Yes, that's right. Um, I have no end-of-turn shenanigans. So, just going to reshuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Going into turn two. Shuffle. I will not discard anything. And draw up to that. Clear moved. So I'm just marking my bases in teal when they have yet to activate and in orange ones they have. Just in case anyone's wondering. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, I lose adversary on Parker, and I lose adversary on Mad Dog currently. Yes, and then I'll be reapplying it to someone now. So, mm -hmm. uh, it's a tough one, actually. But I think just based on where my models can actually see, I'm going to put it on the. So the cat has nihilism, right? You could. If I try put it on him, you can just pitch a card and say no. That is correct. I'll put it on the Midnight Stalker then. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've put shielding back on the archivist. I don't think I have any more start of turn effects, but um, I do have ill omens, so I'll be getting plus two on initiative here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I have a ten. I have a twelve. Mm hmm. Hmm. I do not think I will cheat. Okay. So um, I will lead then. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with Cooper. I don't like starting with him this early, mm -hmm. but I mean, we both know that the Midnight Stalker is clearly the target and is mm -hmm. what's going to score you the strat. So if I've got an opportunity now, as I do, I think I need to take advantage of it. So I'm going to activate Lord Cooper. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing he's going to do is shoot him. So he is within 14. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you've got manipulative, but I also have adversaries, so that's kind of setting that up. Mm -hmm. I just need to consider if I wish to use a use predator instinct, and if so, how I wish to use it. I think what I'm going to do is use predator instinct now for just the plus to the attack flip. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I'm starting on a 18. All right. I am starting on not an 18. I will go to an 18. Very well. So I'd be on four cards lows because I've also procked pretty transient. Uh, mm -hmm. This trigger will give you adversary. You already have adversary. 
no worries. So just four cards. Mm -hmm. A week of three, correct? Yes. Uh, he's then going to shoot again. Uh, well, sorry, he'll need to focus first. And then mm -hmm. he's just free action. Load, fire at you. And since I have adversary and manipulative, you have already predatory instinct, you're just going to have a straight flip. Okay. Well, uh, we are going to... Just have a think. Your stat six, correct? Correct. So showing a 14. I will cheat to a 15. I'll go to 18 with the put it down trigger. Mm -hmm. So it takes an additional 3. Um, so he's down to 1. For my next trick. to take a walk action, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's going to walk up there and uh, end his activation. Over to you, good sir. All right. I should figure out pass tokens real quick. I have one, two, three, four, five, six... Models to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I only have one pass token. Yes. You killed one, I killed two. That makes sense. Um, hmm. What to do? What to do? Just take another look at the archivist. <laughs> Mr. Archivist. Uh, okay, so that is what you do. Um, well, I guess I go with Midnight Stalker because, as you said, he is kind of important. And your archivist can, with a focus shot and a crow, just kill him. So... I find that most unpleasant. I agree, it is rather unpleasant. And points are prizes. So we're going to go. Um, we are going to attempt to leap. We are going to successfully leap. Ooh, that's a big card. Sure is. So we go there. We're going to walk one, two, three, four, five to there. Second action, we will tear down a symbol. And third action, one, two, three, four, and five. Hide behind the building. Like the brave little boy we are. And we are a showboat, so we draw a card. I'm going to go next with Ulla, who's not mm -hmm. currently engaging anyone. He's going to charge right in his cap. Um, Parker has a one inch. Okay, yeah, you're good. Sorry. Sh charging Schrodinger's cat. Meow. It's cats and dogs out here. Sorry, uh, just before he charges, do you mind if I use try his free action again? I don't mind at all. At the 
it doesn't have another trash. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, let's see if we get it. Need a five. We do. Okay, so he has focus. Boop. Um, and I'll use it immediately as I charge in for the plus. Uh, so currently, I am on a 19. All right. Um, we are currently on a 14. And we are not going to cheat. Okay, so you'll be on a single neg, and you'll gain this dagger. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, so you said one damage. I am incorporeal, uh, so it does reduce damage to a minimum of zero, so I take no damage. And I am going to discard a card and say, no, I do not wish to be staggered, because I am a nihilist. Is your right? Is your right? Um, I'm going to uh, go again with Trapping Jaws, and this time I'm going to Predatory Instinct on attack. Mm -hmm. I'm up to a 12. I am at an 11. Go ahead. I will not cheat. Okay, sure. So uh, it'll be three cards because mm -hmm. I've used Predator Instinct. Another one. Do you want to pitch a card or gain staggered? I will gain staggered now. Bullet smashed. Over to you. All right. I think I would like to go with Parker now. Parker will run and gun. One, two, three, four, five, staying outside of the Rex's engagement. Sure. Uh, taking a damage and an injured. And I do have expert shot, so I get to shoot ignoring um, friendly fire. I will shoot at Uller. Sure. I have a positive twist here. I'm on a 16. You're on a 17. I am. Um, Relevant triggers on that. There. No relevant triggers. All right, I won't cheat. All right. Um, I've got a essentially what is a hard to wound aura, so it's an, mm -hmm. an additional negative. Yep, three cards. Pick the worst. Uh, hey, moderate four. Nice. Nice. He, he uh, Parker's been lucky shot today. Uh, he's gonna six shooter Uller again. Bang bang! I ha have a ten. You have a twelve. Um, I will elect to cheat in a three of tomes for highway robbery. Uh, I will still fail to hit you, but after resolving, you still drop a scheme marker. And within Parker's line of sight, right? Correct. And third action, I will shoot you. Now I'm stat six because of the gun or the scheme marker. Hey, yeah. Nineteen. Cool yeah. Uh, nothing cool on a ram, no. Right, so I'm at a nine here. So you would be on a straight flip, but I do have that hard to win or I'll bring you on a single neg. Mm -hmm. um, okay with that. So I'll just let you go ahead on a single neg. All right, single negative. Week of two. Okay. I was really hoping you wouldn't hit moderate twice in a row. Uh, you know, I was I was feeling feeling possible, but I am going to go ahead and use cashing out. This is my bonus action. All enemy scheme markers in pulse four. I will munch. My first time playing this park, so hardly. It happens. Um, we are going to... Hmm, I can either add a stone or a card. Um, I feel like at this juncture, it makes the most sense to draw a card. So, Parker is done. I lead the uh, way on to Vernon. I'm looking for a six. Mm -hmm. You have led the way. Oh, 
I'll try it on Cooper as well. Not quite. I need a six, so let's cheat it in. Mm -hmm. All right, and don't forget you passed both of those by at least two, so you should be at full health. Unfortunately, the way I understand it is that they are resist, so they're not simple duels, and I can only heal if it's a simple duel or a resist with your models. I can't win opposed duels with my own models to heal. Um, it says here, if their duel was a simple duel or an opposed duel with an enemy model, then I can heal. Mm -hmm. So because uh, Lead the way is an opposed duel. I see. Correct. Okay. I think if it was a simple duel, people would hate the effigy even more than they already do. Quite so. possibly. <laughs> so, uh, so that's um, all he's going to do. Um, over to you, Jim. All right. Uh, we will hodgepodge emissary, who will heal himself uh, for nothing. Uh, but what he is going to do is he's going to weary road himself. to here okay. he will drop a marker behind him so that the prospector can see it but Uller can't sure. and we're going to attempt to throw junk at uh, the Malasaurus Rex you, you are scary um, but I passed the scary test sure. stat 6 against your defense I'm on a 15. Ooh, 17 Right. Yep, uh, I have a built-in trigger for giving you slow. Um, negative, you're hard to wound, and you have an Uller there, so that's four cards. Take week of two, please. And you know what? I am going to go ahead... And I'll try healing Parker. Sure. Uh, that fails. Hodgepodge is done. Very well. So I will go next then. Um, at this stage. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I don't use this program a heck of a lot, so I'm still mm -hmm. the process. No worries. Uh, so the, wells. Um, the reason being is that that strategy marker is in range, um, so they, I should say they, can nip out and grab it. Um, it seems pretty good. I've already applied Staggered to Schrodinger's cap, mm -hmm. so it's a bit less incentive to try and use Ben and the Wells to do that. Um, I do have Artemis on the north who could pick up a strategy marker as well. So maybe I should hold off on that. Thank you. Yeah, I think at this stage the right call is to go Vanna Wells and just try the um, onward, see what happens, see what I get, and then toss mm -hmm. it on there. Uh, that will pass. Not a great trigger, but it'll pass the duel at least. Mm -hmm. uh, one inch reach on the cat, right? Uh, that is correct. Do you want to be just outside of that? You certainly are. Um, after having moved, the emissary is gone, and so has Parker. Um, you have just the prospector and Mad Dog and the cat left, as I understand it. That is correct. And a pass token. A pass token, yes, that's right. Um, so, what I want to do here is go for Mule for Endless, and we're going to target uh, Parker. Okay. Well, uh, I have a 17 to your Red Joker. Mm-hmm. 
very yeah. although there's not that many models because the, all your models are quite congregated it's probably not as powerful as it might normally be but i still think it offers something quite interesting it... so i'm going to take the glimpse of the word trigger we'll flip for damage first on a single mm -hmm. uh, oh wow but you do gain target, uh, and you'll take a target of 14 willpower tool. my willpower duel I fail and I am buried. Boop. Right. Um, so that's a reaction and one AP. Um, I think if it works once, try it again. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should just pass it again on. what I'm just measuring now is am I in range next turn to triple walk and pick up that strategy marker in the bottom and it looks like I am mm. so I'm going to stay where I am and I'm going to shoot at the interior after all it does have manipulative but he's already gone so just a straight foot here that is correct right I'm on a 17 here all right uh, I am on a 13 so go ahead single egg uh, you gain staggered and uh, the trigger here is you have to discard a random card Oh boy. Just one damage. Takes one and staggered. And since there's no real discard random card function, I'll just keep doing this. And you have the ability to um, grab my cards and pull it up. So. All right. Uh, go ahead. That one there. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll prospect her. Stun herself for a stone. She's going to appraise the corpse. Uh, goes off. And that's a weak card, so that's a draw and then discard a card. I will draw and discard a card. I will appraise this scheme marker that's under me. Goes off, because... Prospectors only require a four for that action. Uh, it's a moderate, so it's a card draw. Prospector is done. Awesome. Okay, so um, you have the stalker and the cat left to go, as well as Mad Dog Bracket. I just Mad Dog and the cat. Sorry, yes. Um, at this stage, I think I go with the. I think I go with Artemis while I have an opportunity to score. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to double walk and interact. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Barrels are blocking, if I understand. Is that, uh, that is correct. Blocking, climbable, and destructible. And destructible. Interesting. Okay. She's done. Okay. Uh, we'll have Schrodinger's cat activate. First thing we're going to do is actually, are we? We're not going to do Schrodinger's cat yet. I will activate Mad Dog Bracket. Where would you like Mad Dog Bracket to unbury? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, he is going to, first action is he's going to walk into base contact with Uller because he has a zero inch engage and he does not have gunfighter. Um, he does have half his wounds or less, so he has a positive to his attack actions. Sure. So he is going to burning cigar Uller because he's a horrible man. I love the names of actions in this game. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Stat 6. Thir 13 to your defense. You just have a free action after this, which is just blown into hell, right? Mm-hmm. 
See, it's imperative that the Archivist can kill the Stalker this turn, so I actually need to hold my cards. Um, so... <laughs> but I'll, I'll use this card here, I think. This should be... This is what's been to a 15. You're at a 15, so I have to cheat. Well, I think what I will do is I will elect to cheat in to a 15. Sure. Sorry, so not that one. Okay. Sorry, not that one. I want to save that mask. That one? I'll declare the built-in trigger. Ah, my eye! Um, because it does one damage to the target, so that'll kill Uller. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so when resolving, is he pushed before dying? As far as where the corpse marker goes, I'm just not clear. Um, I don't believe so. It says when resolving, the target suffers plus one and is pushed up to three inches away. Even if it were pushed, I will push him zero inches away, and I'll drop a scheme marker next to his body because that's what I do when I kill you. So I have something to get fast from next turn. Um, I don't get anything else when I kill something. I am no longer staggered. Didn't mean to drag the ski marker. Do you want to reposition and place it where you wish? I accidentally picked it up. Yes. Um, boop. Unsurprisingly, the intent is for it to also be within an inch of the center. For no reason. Yes. There we go. Thank you kindly. Um, he is done. I have a Schrodinger's cat left. Real quick, when the Rex activates within three of Schrodinger's cat, my diseased aura gives you a blight. Of course, sure. So we'll uh, try lashing tendrils onto the cat. Mm -hmm. uh, this is against your poof, and I'll use predatory. All right. Well, I only have a move of three now, so that's a five total. Sounds like that's going off. A trigger, though, which is disappointing, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag him back four inches towards that. Mm -hmm. So I want to be engaging you, but not you engaging me. Um, after that, he's going to spend one AP to charge. Now he is slow. Yes, he is. But not staggered, right? So he'll just get a charge of one attack. Mm -hmm. Charge them, and I'll swing at that dog. Okay. Come 
on a 17. Well, uh, you got Mad Dog. Well, he's got hard to kill, right? Uh, he has hard to kill. This is true. 17 to a 9, I'm on a straight flip. This trigger lets me heal too. Mm-hmm. Alright, so week 3, he'll hey. go down to 1 and I'll go back to four. Uh, actually, I am going to stone for prevention. I will go down to 2. So I'm now two hits above hard to kill. Or a hit above hard to kill. Uh, up to you. Well, I have Schrodinger's cat, and I will do that. Um, his first trick is to declare a charge, unless I'm engaged by Rex, which I am. So I will go yeah. one, one, two, and three with my first walk. My second action is going to be to use my um, spectral bite. I will try to bite Malasaurus Rex. You are terrifying. I will fail the test. That's fine. We are then going to drink spirit, needing a six. That's fine. Schrodinger's cat is done and no longer staggered. So essentially, he gets an option to either try to kill Bracket or to kill the Stalker, but not both. Um, mm -hmm. Very tempting to try and kill Mad Dog Frank. My thought process here, however, is that, as you say, points win prizes. If you go with the Stalker again next turn, he will just get you a point. So I think I have to go after him. Um, before I commit to trying to go after him, I'm going to go with the uh, Runaway, because I want to secure a better hand. Mm -hmm. So the Runaway is going to walk five, and then he'll be within four inches of the corner. So he gets deleted, and I draw up to my maximum hand size. Mm -hmm. And don't you drop a scheme marker somewhere? Yes. Since I see you eyeing up to leave your mark there. <laughs> Just to be that gun. I'll go in for one here. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Mad Dog will be able to kill it wherever I put it, I suppose. But I guess I could put it underneath the base of Rex. Seems good to me. The intention is that it's enough underneath that Mad Dog currently cannot see it, mm -hmm. um, and therefore, but but still within one inch of the, uh, the center there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that's the runaway. He's run off. He's done his trick. Uh, so then, the only thing left to go is the archivist. Archivist is going to activate. He's going to try his free action. Um, he's going to take one point on his shielding to get a. I think it's a mask. The place trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, for the record, it is irreducible for siphon power, so your shielded won't go down, but it will also not stop the damage. I like using the charge uh, lanes for that. So I would say there, maybe, maybe that'd be tight. Is that a four inch aura for you? Because I was going to say, yeah, you easily can get it. Yeah. Oh boy. So he actually gained he actually gained one wound as he placed, excuse me, because he um mm -hmm. passed it support you. So he'll now be on the seven. Mm -hmm. So I flip the red, what do I flip? Not a red. Okay, cool. So you're gonna win that one. So it all comes down to the last one. Now we'll side power it. Down six. Uh, I'm going for the I think it's a crow for the mm -hmm. cancer. 
Killer late fees. You know. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Okay, so, if you wish to cheat. What is your current total? 18. 18? Um, real quick, because I cannot look at your discard pile, but it is open game information. Have you flipped the Black Joker? Uh, you did. You did it on damage on Parker. Ah, uh, yes. I'd forgotten that. So you have better memory than I. Um, I am currently at an 8. You're at a 18. 18. Straight flip, really. So it'd be a straight flip. Go ahead. Right, that's 4. And Norse's demise and hard to kill. And you get to choose to discard a tome. Or I'll draw a card. Uh, go ahead and draw a card. I didn't mean to put that there. <laughs> Whoops. That's all right. I I have I have the uh, thing covered, so I don't I don't see what you have. Right. Um. So that's that, and that's actually the last. I think the last action of the turn. Right. That'll be correct. So. Yeah, so I'll use my Deadly Pursuit now. Do you have any schemes to declare? I do not have any schemes to declare. We will both get our strategy point. Do you have any schemes to not declare? Here. Yes, I've got Hidden Martyrs on Uller and Artemis, so after killing Uller, I'll get one point for that now. All right. And away we go. Over to turn three. All right. Do that. I discard nothing. Mm -hmm. I will keep this hand. Parker loses his injured. Claire moved. Rexy is no longer slow. Very well. So, um, this time, pass tokens wise, I believe you have five battles, and I have six. Yes, so I will have one pass token, but I still have only one from last turn for initiative. Right, so you'll have one on that, and then I'll have the archivist give me plus two. Mm -hmm. So you're on a net plus one. I flip a four. Mm -hmm. I will not cheat. Uh, I'll go first then, and what I'll do is during the start phase, there's a couple things. Uh, first, the adversary is going to happen. Mm -hmm. and who would you like to adversary I'm going to put it on I'm going to put it on Mad Dog anyway put it on Sam. even though I could potentially kill him straight away I still like to just guarantee it mm -hmm. so put that on him the effigy will also replace to being the emissary now And <clears throat> they normally come in and heal two, correct? Yes. So he's at four. Okay. Yeah, so he's just within two of Cooper. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, any other upkeep? Shielding is back on for the boys, that's fine. We're good to go. So. I think what I'm going to do here is just start with Cooper. Uh, you can't have hit mutters on bracket as far as I'm aware, because he's 10, right? So um, we're just going to try kill him. I'm going to shoot him, and I'm going to burn a soul stone for a ramp. We'll put it down. Okay. Um, real quick, do you ignore friendly fire? Uh, no, but I do have a positive due to adversary, I guess. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're 
So just to make sure I'm recounting it, you're predatory instincting for a positive to hit. You have adversary for a dozen. I'm sorry? I'm just, I'm just going for a straight flip because I don't ignore frenetic fire, but I do have adversary on you, so it's just a straight flip. Okay. I'm not using predatory instinct, yeah. And you do not ignore cover. You do ignore cover. cover. That's what it is. All right. I have an 11. Yep. A 10. Mm -hmm. I'm just quite desperate to kill him now while I have an opportunity. So I'm going to go big to a 19. 19? Mind before you do have a ram on this for the put down. Mm -hmm. And I think we are going to... Just having a think. Um, hmm. Because if I do that. Go ahead. I will not cheat. Mm-hmm. That'll be five damage. It is. Uh, Mad Dog is dead. Right, so, um, the stage. We have a couple of options. As far as I can determine, I do have line of sight on the cat. Uh, could have a shot at him. Corporeal makes it kind of painful to get through him, though. Um, mm -hmm. If I go for that, I also can't use my other free action to try and heal the emissary, which would be nice since it's only on four wounds. And I know that the cat attacks willpower. Uh, Puck is also coming out somewhere. He can also attack willpower. So it's pretty tempting to try and heal the emissary. Um, I think because I haven't used Predatory Instinct yet, I'm just going to focus and well, concentrate, I should say, and use Reload to shoot the cat again. Okay. Um, so it'll just be a straight... Uh, now the cat is currently towed into con it, into concealing terrain. Yes. Right, so... We want to be on the cat defenses. I think with that being the case, we better just try and heal the emissary. So we'll use our free action. I heal him, I'm looking for a six. No bueno. Hmm. There we go. So he's going to heal one. Mm -hmm. Heals again, so focus. And we have two AP left. Gonna double walk, quite brazen, but I think it's the right play to just mean that next turn I've got better options. Hmm. Fair enough. Perhaps I'll end the walk a bit closer to you, just so I've got the option to just sort of peek around the building. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks about where I want to be. Alrighty. Well, I think I would like to activate Schrodinger's cat. We are going to take a walk, one being incorporeal, and just go hang out next to these friend, these fine friends right here. Welcome to the party. Mm -hmm. Hello. We are going to try and bite Vernon and Wells, because why not? I'm aware you have your head in the clouds. 
This gives you a... Yeah. Yes. Uh, what is it? Puts uh, you on a negative. To the attack flip. Yep. Negative to attack actions. So, here we go. Uh, I am at a nine. <laughs> but you're still beating me, apparently. Haha! -ha! This is two, three, four, and a blight, if I understand correctly. You are correct. It is two, three, four, and a built in blight. Mm -hmm. um, at this stage, I'm okay with that, so I'll take one damage because I've got. Um, oh, sorry, I'll let you flip your damage, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. Because me assuming you can get weak, you might just flip a red joker, who knows? No, it's a weak. Okay. So, one whole damage and then a blight. And we are going to drink spirit. Is it drink spirit that we want to do? Yeah. And you know what? I think that is going to fail, and that's okay. The cat is done. The cat is done. Okay, so, uh, at this stage, it's kind of important to kill the cat, but I think when points are on offer, you take points, so I'm just going to go with Artemis and eat up the board there to grab that other marker. Mm-hmm. A wise choice. Mm -hmm. I think we will go ahead and I'd like do you have anything that eats scheme markers yourself? Um, so the archivist has treasure map that can kill any marker on a free action within one inch mm -hmm. um, other than that at the moment Artemis has a free action but she's gone so if it's this turn no not so much Okay. Except the archivist. Um, other than the interact action. Fair enough. Well, I would like to activate Parker. Where would you like to unbury him? Okay, so he's got a one inch melee due to gunfighter. Mm hmm. Own ski markers, right? Um, with that, uh, oh, of course, he can't gain fast. He doesn't even have life of crime. Mm -hmm. He does not have a life of crime. Oddly enough. Oddly enough, right? Um, so that's where I put him there, sir. Okay. Well, Parker is just going to take the smart route. He is going to take a walk, staying in. Uh, walking through Schrodinger's cat, basically, staying in your engagement of the Rex to be within one inch of Vernon and Wells. And I'm going to go bang, bang on Vernon and Wells. It's kind of rude. But mm -hmm. I'll let know. Okay. And the marker you dropped under Rex's base does seem to be poking out near Vernon and Wells. Actually, it doesn't it's matter. It's not a... It's not an aura for the six shooters. It's just any ski marker within three inches, of which there are two. Okay. So I wouldn't pass by that. The intention um, when I put it there was for it to be under Rex. It's just once I put it down, I couldn't. Oh, for sure. It's it's under Rex. I can't cash out on it, but sure. it does count for purposes of yeah. plussing my stat. Of course. Sure. Bang, bang. Like IP shooter. Okay. Mm-hmm. 15. 15 with reposition. Gets you a 15 here. You're on 8 plus, you're on a 14, surely. Uh, I am stat 5 plus 2 scheme markers, mine and yours. So 7 and 8 is 15. 
Does that change your cheat choice? I think it does, in which case I'm just going to hang on to this one. Let you go ahead with your, your flip. Okay. Um, I think what I would like to do is I am going to... Uh, I'm sorry, your total is a 12? Yes. I will cheat this and go to a 20 to be on a straight flip with the highway robbery trigger. So you have to drop it in my line of sight. Index contact, right? Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, that'll be severe of five. I do have one shielded remaining. And third and final AP. We will shoot you again. Bang, bang. 17. What a 14, so that's fine. I think you would need to throw in another 13 if you want to get to the straight flip here. Mm -hmm. So I won't shoot here. All right, neither will I. Negative twist. Week of two. And I will cash out now. I'll eat that one scheme marker and draw a card. Parker's done. Right, let's go to Venom and Wells before they die. Because although Schrodinger's cat has gone, you still have... I mean, Hodgepodge Emissary has a ranged attack, I assume. He does. He can throw junk. Um, you will gain a Blight for activating next to Schrodinger's cat. Hmm, sorry. I'll take that blade off. Hey, no trouble. Um, what I might do here is... Is it a 10-inch range for throw junk? Throw junk is a... Just double-checking. It is a 10-inch range. Stat 6, gun icon, and verse defense. two options. I can either just pull Vin and Wells out of melee entirely, which seems good, but then they're kind of not in a relevant place. So mm -hmm. the other option is to put up my aura. If I put up the aura, I could potentially heal Vin and Wells. Um, I'm just going to double check. Height is is it a three or a two? Your emissary. Oh, he's height three. Makes it less appealing. So. It's, it's a really tough call between those two free actions. Um, not mm -hmm. gonna lie, it's real tough. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go for it. I just need a four. Goes off. Um, cool. So we have that up. Charge to make sure that I'm within two of Vernon Wells. Mm -hmm. Intention is to be just outside of Barrow's engage. I think you got that. And we're going to swing at the cat. All right. Uh, defense 5 on him, right? Uh, yep. Schrodinger's cat is a defense 5. Willpower 6. It's 
minutes, you'll have to... Yeah, that's fine. We'll go up to the cat, and I will be my focus. Mm-hmm. All right, you hit. Uh, going for the. You have a ram trigger, don't you? Well, both triggers. I could go for a blast here as well. Um, mm -hmm. which seems good. That. You should go for a blast and lay it so that it hits your Vernon and Wells. <laughs> just, to, uh, just to help you out. Eh? Um, mm -hmm. So. We'll be putting it like so. Okay. I did use focus, and your total is a six to my sixteen, uh, fifteen. Sorry, so I'm on a. a, a oh, my total is a five. I'm sorry. Five. Yeah, he's defense five, willpower six. Five to fifteen. Okay, cool. So still a uh, still a single problem. Right, that was great to see. Let us go with. All right. Four damage to the cap, which goes to three. It becomes three because you've got four. I think, and then two to Barrett. He'll take two. Emissary heals one for winning the duel. Um, I'm going to swing at that cap again. All right. You have no more focus left, correct? All right, I have a 16. Um, at that stage, because you've got a corporeal as well, but you'll be healing if, if I lose this duel, won't you? I will. I heal one for every failed duel. Okay, then. So you, you, I'll, I'll fail that duel. All right. The taste of disappointment or something. Alright, so that's a bonus and two actions from Intrepid. Well, I guess it's a hodgepodge emissary time. He's going to heal one. He has plus one move, minus two move because of his staggered. So he's going to go a one, two, three because he gets plus one move and he is going to see over Schrodinger's cat he is going to throw junk at the Malasaurus Rex He is not going to throw junk at the Malasaurus Rex, but he is going to move um, Parker with a weary road, unless I didn't measure it correctly. I did not. So we're going to move Schrodinger's cat, and we're just going to shuffle the cat a little bit like that. Okay. Cat's going to drop a marker under its base. So I walked, I failed a shot, and I moved the Schrodinger's cat. Emissary is done. Understood. So, let's go with next. I think I'd like to go with the arc first. Yeah, the arc first is next. Because you just have the prospect, the remaining, and um, they don't have any real chance of killing Vernon and Wells from there, right? Uh, I doubt it. That is correct. Um, they only have a one-inch engage with their melee. Sure. So yeah, let's go with the archivist. Um, archivist will activate, and when he does, is going to try his free action. Um, I'll take another wing. Mm -hmm. Goes. Mm -hmm. so 
can't quite get in position to um, get within range of the emissary's aura. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. So we'll just place there. Uh, then we're going to shoot. Now, sweet taste of the failure is only if I'm within three inches, right? That is correct. So uh, we will shoot then. I'm going to shoot against the cat. Mm -hmm. uh, no gun up symbol, so no negatives here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, let's see what we get. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a good card. That's like a good trigger as well. I'm on a 19. Mm -hmm. I am not. Uh, and you know what? I am going to take it. I'm sorry, that's an 8. It's helpful if I give you the actual number, isn't it? Willpower, right? Willpower six, five, oh, willpower 6, yes. Oh. Yes, I have a 9. So I'll be in a straight foot. Uh, so that would be 3, which would become 1. Let's think about this. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'll just take three, three damage now, right? I'm goes damage. to two. And I will discard this book so you do not get to draw a card. Fair enough. Um, we will shoot him a second time. Mm -hmm. Getting my trigger again. Oh. Dang. Um, well, I'm not going to cheat. You'll be on a double negative. I will munch a stone this time. I will take nothing. And I'll discard this so you don't get to draw a card. Alright. Return in my overdue books. Prospector's going to gain stunned when she activates. And uh, we're going to move her to be relevant. She's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And she will appraise the blood is a corpse marker, correct? Yes, that's right. We'll eat one of those. Appraise! We appraise. It's a good appraise! I will draw a card, and I drop one of my markers anywhere within six. So we're going to drop it right there. Um... We're not going to put it under the T-Rex's base. The prospector is done, and the board is yours. So there's, there's one under the Rex, there's one under the cat, and then another one just sort of peeking out from under the cat as well, yes? Correct. So you've got three there, and I have a single. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so let me, let's go with... So it's just the Rex and Venna Wells for me next. Got some tough decisions to make here. The Rex can try to push Venowells out of melee. Um, it's just got lashing tendrils that'll just happen. Mm -hmm. If I do that, because there's all this forest here, it's kind of annoying. Um, I mean, technically, I guess I could. push them there, then at least they wouldn't be an engaging anymore. I think it would take about one more walk to get out of there, because they've got a move of five. Mm. So yeah, two and a half, they would pretty much just get out of there, I think. Is that worth the points for reaction? I think it is. The other option would be to go and push them the other way. Down to the southeast, back towards my deployment zone. Then they can sort of walk all the way around it. That seems okay. doesn't put me in scoring range next to him, so that's a nice problem. I 
I guess I do want the heal from the emissary. So what I'm going to do is I will go with the T ranks. Mm -hmm. I'll put your blight on for you. Sorry for the uh, endless wars. I'm just doing a lot of pre mm -hmm. measuring. So uh, T Rex will go. T Rex will we will use that free action to try and push Vernon Wells. Mm -hmm. Target him. Move. Goes off. Um, that's fine. All right, you do f uh, fail a duel within three inches of me. It's not it has to be caused by me, so that will heal. Schrodinger one. Right, so Vernon Wells failing the duel will heal them. Okay, fair enough. Next up, the Rex has two AP to spend. What do we want to do it on? Massive jewels has a good ring as well. Um, I mean, it's it's annoying to go after the cat because I know it, you could. Uh, past jewel. I, if I fail the jewel, you're just gonna heal, but I think that's still the right call. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll start with one massive jewels on the cat, and mm -hmm. I will use predator instinct on attack here. I have a nine. Eighteen here. Nine to eighteen. Go ahead. Uh, weak damage. Weak damage. I had predator yeah, I will eat my last stone fresh from the prospector to prevent all of it. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so we will then go with You know, I think I'm going to go with my tail whip here because mm -hmm. it's attack and collection. So if it goes through, Schrodinger doesn't get to beat me in the duel. I can just take two. Doesn't care. Right. Care about it. So I'm going to use my tail whip. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, the there we go. That will heal Schrodinger back again. That's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Last up is Venon Wells, I believe. Yep. So. Yep. They're no longer in engagement. They're going to try to use Onward. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's the trigger I was hoping to see as well. Bit of a weird one. So I look at the top three cards of the my graveyard mm -hmm. and the top of my game. So I'm just going to move the card I've flipped away for now. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can put it in that removed uh, square in the bottom right. Then I look at the top three. Um, I'll put my hand to the left-hand side of my control hand for now, and then pull the other three down to the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. So even though it just says look at and doesn't say reveal, it does specify I can't put jokers back. <laughs> so, yep, I got a red and that has to be discarded. Oh no. Uh, if you double click it, that'll separate them out, and then you can modify each one. It only gives me the option to send it to the bottom of the deck, though, and they need to go to the top. Oh, those go to the bottom? These go to the top, these ones. Uh, place any three back on top of this model's face in any order. So uh, I three or three. Uh, so the easiest way to do that is to separate them out into individuals and then just put them back in the so the one you want furthest down on the stack goes first then the next and then the last one's the one you want on top yeah 
Okay, cool. That was a <laughs> very complicated way to take a walk, actually. Apologies. Well, it's Vernon and Wells. Their heads in the clouds. They're simple is not what they do. So they're going to move. They're currently in uh, Severe, so they're just going to speak mm -hmm. out of that. They did heal one there because I passed a jewel. Mm -hmm. so gonna move. Seems good. Um, so they're going to camp it down that way. And that is them done. I believe that's four of my models done. I believe so. Um, so that's end of the turn. Uh, you got a strategy point this turn. Do you reveal any schemes? Yeah, Ah, yes. Yeah, that's, that's fine. For my purposes for this immediate time. I don't have any new schemes to score. I've just got an extra one on the strap from Artemis up there. All right. I don't reveal anything going into turn four. Reshuffle. We'll get rid of that and that. And we can throw that away too. All right, initiative. Oh, well, we do that after the initiative flip, so. Because I still have the one, and it's going to change. Because I think you have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll have two pass tokens after initiative. So currently you're on an eight, and I'm on an 11. Mm -hmm. uh, I will not cheat. There are some models that are kind of in, in danger right now. The emissary could get killed by your cat. However, I think that'll take his whole activation. So what I'm going to do is maybe gamble on him not dying, and I'm going to go with Vernon Wells just while they have a chance to activate before they die. Mm -hmm. so just go and get some. So we're going to grab two shielded on them. Mm -hmm. So let's try the reaction first. And I'm going to try to be a bit more elegant this way <laughs> with that trigger. It is certainly a mechanic that this that Vassal was not designed in mind of. Would you like to discard a card to take the interact action with you take the wheel? Take the wheel, so I'm going to pitch a card. I'm not sure if I should try and just maximize the distance away from you. We'll try and just be close to cover. Mm -hmm. I don't know, so I'm just going to go with the cover my gut instinct. Over to you, Jim. All right. I think that... <clears throat> Unfortunately, Intrepid Emissary still has armor. 
um, and hard to kill. So I kind of am going to need you to get some blight on you before I try and kill you. Rex only has three blight, so I'm not going to kill it in one activation with um, Schrodinger's cat. But maybe I have my Prospector go. Prospector will stun herself. Will give me a stone. I will appraise the corpse that was Mad Dog. It goes off. Uh, it is a weak, so I will cycle the card. I'll get rid of that card. And I don't see any other corpses in range. So I guess I will declare a charge. And I'll I'll do something with the prospector that's not a praise. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see. see what they made of that. All right, mining tools. Uh, well, first off, willpower five. I thirteen. We pass. Step five to your defense. I have a fourteen. If you're winning this duel. I'm not going to cheat. On a thirteen, all up with hard to win. All right, so that's three cards. Pick the worst. Oh my! That's a five damage swing with a uh, red joker. Prospector is showing his MVP right here. Uh, that's the prospector done. Right, Rex is going before it just implodes. I think um, <laughs> um, because you've got four blight, and you can deal damage equal to blight. Is that correct? Correct. Uh, you have three Blight currently. I put one on when you said you were activating. Okay, sure, sure. Um, so, oh, okay. So in that case, if you were to use it twice, I would be at one if you succeeded both times. Is that right? Um, that would be correct because you're hard to kill, right? Not hard to kill, but if I only had three of them on me. If, if the... Um, that was to go and just try and use bleeding disease twice because I'm on only three tokens currently. Before yes, I that is correct. With... You. Oh, but you can potentially give me one with drink spirit. Right. Um, so. Sorry, uh, I've forgotten to put on my adversary at the start of the turn. Oh yes, um, go ahead. Do you want to pick? out of your models which it goes on because I've actually forgotten and the, and the timing is kind of significant. So oh, you pick no. which goes on. You pick which one you were going to put it on. I trust your judgment. Um, okay, it was, it was going to be the cat because that's target number one. Right? And <laughs> that makes sense. So I'll go ahead and put a little adversary on her. Him. Cheers. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so it's all good. Go with And what next? I think it's time to do some hitting. So, with Schrodinger's cat being the lowest defense, I'm going to go after that. So, just a straight attack. Mm -hmm. Here. I have a 10. I am not going to cheat. So I'll trigger on this one. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is throw in a blast. I'm up to a 16 versus your 10, so I'm on a straight flip. Mm -hmm. Because I have passed a dual 2, I'm going to heal. Mm -hmm. Hey. So it's, uh, Red that. Joker is actually only a moderate, so mm -hmm. calm down, everyone. Uh, <laughs> it's only going to be 4 damage to the cat and 2 damage to the cat. 
Okay, Mr. Burrows takes two. The cat will eat my stone for one incorporeal, so I take two damage after all said and done. Great. So essentially now, if I try and swing at the cat again, I'm basically not trying moderate to kill him. Mm -hmm. um, which seems difficult, but stranger things have happened. I think at this stage it's still worth going there because his defense is lower than Parker's, so I'm still mm -hmm. going to uh, win on the cat one more time. Here we go. I'm on a 15 at the moment. That's 15. 15? Um, well, let's see. If you have it, I'll go to a 16. Well, I'll meet you on 16. So okay. No trigger, unfortunately, but I just wanted you to not have me fail the duel because I don't mm -hmm. want you to heal. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll be on double negatives here. All right. Two, which he becomes one. Mm-hmm. Very close. Alright. Um, I think it's a hodgepodge emissary time. Okay. Uh, he's going to... I'm going to declare a charge. One, two, three... He's got a zero inch engaged, so he wants to get up here and donkey kick the T Rex. Terrifying. He passes with flying colors. Sure. And that's a 13 to kick you. Nah, he fails the kick. That's fine. He's going to heal Schrodinger's cat. I said he's going to heal Schrodinger's cat. Declare something in my pack. We're going to give the cat a vitality potion. Oh yeah, three heals. Add upgrade. Clear out. Mad dog off of that. Um, and then we'll use our bonus action because we can see over Schrodinger. I'm going to tell Parker to go one, two, three, and drop a scheme marker. That is the emissary done. Right, so I've got a couple options here. The archivist is not quite in engagement range of Parker, so he can come the end of his own volition. I'm mm -hmm. just not sure precisely what he wants to do yet. He has shielded, but he's only got five wounds, and Parker spikes some damage, could just kill him outright. So mm -hmm. kind of scary. Um, so, it's going to be the Rex or the archivist. The Rex currently can wail on the cat because I've got an adversary, so mm -hmm. I've got good odds of winning. But of course it is becoming a bit of a target and I've sunk a lot of AP already with no sign of it actually dying. Um, if I hit weak twice, which is to be expected, I still don't kill the cat. So at this stage, I think the better option would be to go after the prospector with the wings. Um, mm. so I think this stage, knowing the cat can activate and could potentially kill Rex outright. I think it could kill the Archivist as well, just immediately. I think I need to go with the Archivist now, even though I kind of don't want to, I think I must. Mm -hmm. I think I do. I will go to a 14. Okay. Okay, that's moderate of three. Takes three. 
time or let me draw? Uh, go ahead and draw. a slim but possible chance that he could kill you if he hits severe with his trigger. So I think what I'm going to do is... I should be trying to do that or just... Because the other thing is he's got treasure map, so I can move up that uh, ski marker. But then if you really wanted to get sabotage, you could just walk... Sorry, you could just interact, walk, interact. So can't really stop Parker getting that even if I get rid of that ski marker because I don't have an engagement range it doesn't actually matter with that in mind we're gonna go big and we're gonna just try and kill him with our next attack mm -hmm. so um, we will ping the emissary to give us a crow and attack Parker all right Parker's at 19 We'll try our free action uh, to get a place. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to bother. I don't think I need to act, so I'm not going to ping anyone. That needs a six, so. I'm okay with that. Uh, over to you. Okay. Well, I think what we're going to do is. I'm going to have Parker go, and he is going to charge with run and gun. One. One, two, three, four, five. To there. And he's going to shoot at. Oh. We'll try and. Hmm. We'll try and shoot the Rex, will we? Yeah, we'll try and shoot the Rex. Oh, wait, no, because you're terrifying. We'll go for the Archivist. Sure. Would you like to take the hit? No. Okay. Um, you have one scheme marker near you, so I'm plus one stat. I'm ignoring your cover because of my blow it to hell marker. I have an 11 with reposition. Um, I 10 with reposition, excuse me, 10. 10 is it? Um, it's tempting to cheat here. I know that you'll cheat to beat me, or probably at least you can. Tough one, I think, at this stage. Um, I won't cheat here. You can have it. All right. On a nine. You're on a nine. I'm at a ten, so the negative twist. Oh, okay. Um, that's five damage, so it'd be four after shielded. And I will go one, two, three. Um, I guess I will take the chance to shoot you again with my second shot. Oh, 12 inches. Right, because yeah, I was going to take the hit there. You can keep whatever card you flipped. I haven't, I haven't seen if you flip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the hit on the other Makes sense. Um, I do ignore friendly fire. Um, so you will not have cover, but you will be stat 7. So I have a um, that is uh, you have at least two ski markers within three inches of you. So 
20 to 20. Um, there's only one skin mark. Oh, no, there's one underneath the, the, the cat that I can't mm -hmm. see. Yes, okay. Yeah. 20 to 20. Okay, cool. Uh, it's yours. All right. No triggers to do, that I wish to declare. That'll be three cards. Pick the worst. Week of two. Uh, Intrepid Emissary did fail a duel. Schrodinger's cat will heal. And now, um, we will go ahead and take an action and interact, and Parker will be done. Got it. I'm going to go with the Rigs next. We're going to attack the Prospector. I proc Predatory Instinct on attack for the Massive Jaws. Mm-hmm. 16 here. Uh, I am at a 9. I am not going to cheat. Going through on a straight flip then. 9 to 16 would be a straight, and you predatory instincted, so it would be a negative? Oh, yes. Yes, second. Uh, whip 3. Takes 3. Just moved him out of range of the Zeri. That was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Right, um, that's on me. So we will swing at the prospector a second time. Mm -hmm. You got him. I'm only out of 15. Let's undo real quick. Uh, where where it's going? Should we going like what that way? It looks like you will not clip the emissary. I'll basically just be hugging the cat and the emiss and my emissary, and then you take thirteen. Mm -hmm. Move along your cat. Uh, the cat fails. So it's what a two damage. Just uh, let's just see here. Two. One damage. I will take it. I guess at that stage we're going to use our lashing tendrils onto the cat as well. Mm -hmm. Let's target on a twelve here. So this is a 12 on my cat. On this move. Oh, you said the archivist? I think I think the connection's cutting out a little bit. Say again? Sorry, Rex is using lashing tendrils on your cat. Ah, okay. Uh, I the... get an, an additional flip, sorry, because of adversary, which I forgot. Yep. Okay, so I will still be currently on 17 against your move. Uh, I am currently on a 16. You got me. Right, so what's going to happen is I'm going to get a pushy front. So. Basically, just out of engagement range. Um, and then this trigger lets me take an attack. Mm hmm. So I'll attack the cap. Not gonna forget predator instant this uh episode this time. Mm -hmm. I've been forgetting the whole time. So, um what is your your defense is a uh five, isn't it? It is a five, so I'm at sixteen. So 
I could take the ram trigger to heal, but it's easier for you to cheat. If I just use the 12, then I win by one anyway, and I still heal because of the, the aura. Mm -hmm. you cheat. Mm -hmm. so take the 12. Up to an 18 here. Alright, so negative to damage. Three, and I'll heal one from passing a duel by two or more. Mm hmm. Okay, Schrodinger's cat will go. We're going to drink spirit. We do. Uh, willpower 15 on Emissary and Rex, please. So they'll both need a... So I need an 11 on the Rex and a 10 on the Emissary. We'll start with the Rex. Oh, and the Emissary. Neither. All right, both gain a blight, and I heal two on Nyx, or Schrodinger's cat. The cat will bleeding disease on the Rex. Or try to. Well. You're going, you're, are you, uh, I'm sorry. Would you like to take the hit? The, the back on this tournament says that the terror test happens first. Mm, that's true. Just, it's a bit annoying if you ask me, but if that's what the TO has specifically said. Mm -hmm. I will cheat that in to pass the terrifying. Cool. So currently I have five, so this would deal five to me if you hit. Is that right? That is correct. Um, that is fine. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, let you try and hit me. So. I have a 16 to your willpower. That's yours, so I'll take five. Mm -hmm. And we will attempt it again. Uh, terrifying. And your terrifying is 12 or 13? 12, so you're currently winning that. Um, yep. At this stage, I think I will pitch a card to take the hit. Mm -hmm. And for what it's worth, Nyx is fully healed from the previous time I hit you. Um, okay, Mr. Willpower. I have a seven. Um, sure. I will cheat this in to go to a 16. So you will take three blight da three damage, which goes to two because of your armor. It's currently only got two on him, right? So it's just damage equal to blight. Uh, is it two? Ah, okay, yes, it is. We, it was one, and then when you did your mm -hmm. uh, tactical action, I think we both nudged it up, because I saw it go to two, and then I put it to three, so I put it back, back down to two. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to take... He'll take one. So one. And that is a board to you. Okay, so... line of sight to shoot through to hit the cat. I think he can. Um, So he'll walk there and have a shot at Parker shooting over the box because it's only height one to get like mm -hmm. sight. Mm -hmm. One walk and they shoot. I'll use Predator Instinct on attack here. Mm -hmm. I will cheat to an 18. Cool, that's fine. But that's the stage he will be in. Concentrate and 
buy it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whew. Dodge two bullets there. And it's just Artemis left. Mm-hmm. Double walk to the start. And then walk one more time, I think. And that's her finished. So at that stage, uh, I will use. You've probably taken uh, sabotage on that big building there. So what I'm going to do is use Deadly Pursuit on the Archivist. Because as long as I'm near the terrain piece, you can't score it. And you don't have any others near the rock, right? There's just one ski marker in range of the rock. As far as I can see. So yeah, he's going to tuck in there to just to try to deny sabotage if you took sabotage. Sorry, I've just moved Cooper accidentally. How do you undo? Uh, there's a uh, top left. There's a thing that looks like two arrows circling each other. There you go. See ya. Thank you. All right. Uh, I do not reveal any schemes. Uh, neither for me here. And it is time to reshuffle. Going into. You do score the strategy, though. So uh, yes, that's right. Go into turn five, which is good because we're coming up on half hour uh, remaining in the round. But I don't think we're going to take that long. There's not many models uh, alive at the moment. So. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Clear moved. Uh, I will soulstone here. Right, um, at the start of the turn, I think I'm going to put an adversary on to. It's pretty tempting to put on Cooper because I am in range and I could just shoot an off. It'd be pretty significant. I think the fact that Schrodinger's cat is. I mean, you don't have soul stones, but it's still so hard to wade through him. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put him on Parker and we'll see what happens. All right. Use any pass tokens so you're on plus two here. Mm -hmm. Cool. Same as me, as a Bill Evans. Ready for initiative when you are. Here we go. I got a 12. You got a 13. 13. I will not cheat. I have three models here one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have three pass tokens. I think the right call here is to go with Cooper, even though I, I, I don't like going with the master this early. I think I should. Mm -hmm. So he will act. He will shoot at Parker. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to use. You don't have soul stones, but I do have adversary. I won't use predator instinct here. I'll just uh, flip to. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. Do you want to cheat? Eighteen to eighteen. I do not want to cheat. So it's moderate of five. All right. Uh, that is a dead Parker. That was uh, very, very lucky on my behalf there. To, on a double negative to hit moderate damage. Well, I had a double neg uh, moderate earlier in the in the game, so it's only fair. It's really up for the luck. Um, okay. So the barrel that at the box that he's next to I believe is high one so he might possibly be able to see the cat from there. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see. I think you do. Let us have a 
shot at him then, I think. So I will. I am engaging him with his models. So what mm -hmm. I'm going to do is, um, I'll have to concentrate first to shoot, and then I will proc predatory instinct on attack. So I'm just looking at one card. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> one name. There we go. That's a fifteen. Sixteen. You've got him. Double negative here. Mm hmm. And this draws two discard. Just three, and I'll draw two discard. Take two. It's you, Jim. Alrighty. We will go ahead and. Activate the Hodgepodge Emissary. He is going to Weary Road himself to be in base contact with your scheme marker here and not within. I mean, it truly doesn't matter at this point, uh, but he'll go here anyway. Okay, sure. Drop a marker there. Oh, that's right, because if I interact, I remove all scheme markers in base contact with myself. So. I am just going to could maybe position to not touch the one just to his north at least. Then. Um unfortunately, I think I am going to um have to just deal with it. Um one two I can not charge in. So I will. What is the engagement range for the Intrepid Emissary? Two. Two? Okay. I will concentrate and then spend focus to shoot the Intrepid Emissary to get around friendly fire. Absolutely. It goes up for defense, does it? Sure does. Have an 18. Damages 2, 3, 4, I want to say. 2, 3, 4, but. Most importantly, has built-in trigger to slow you. All right, that'll fail. Hodgepodge is done. So, what can I do, if anything, to prevent the T-Rex dying? I don't think I can, to be honest. Um, so, what I will try to do here is. just gonna go for his bleeding disease and I can't really stop him. I think the emissary needs to put up our aura. Maybe we have a chance. So um, actually I have one idea of something I might do. Hmm. I don't know if it's actually doing it, but I'm gonna try this. He's gonna um I've got your back on the rent. That's true. Oh uh, wait, the Rex is not engaged let me let me take a look real quick. Because ah uh, yes, I was checking the wording. It says other engaged. You're right, so mm -hmm. I can't do it on him. I thought it said engaged, or engaged. So in that case, we will use our aura. I'm looking for a four. Got it. Um, so what we'll do then is we're going to try. I think we. It's so boring to just swing, but I think we kind of have to swing. So mm -hmm. we're going to attack with stone spear on the. Uh, Mm -hmm. That is a 12. So we'll go up to. Up to a 17. 17 to 12, go ahead. Um, cool. So this trigger would push you four inches. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to basically tuck you into the. Your emissary, that is. Mm -hmm. We'll heal for passing a duel by two or more. 
Mm-hmm. And you did activate within three of me, so now you do have the three blight. Oh, sorry. Click the wrong button. Take two goes to one from incorporeal. So at this stage, what I need to do. It's a good chance you've got leave your mark. <laughs> Something's giving me a hint. I think what I want to do is actually just place another speed marker where he is. All right. Well, we are going to use a pass token. Fair enough. Um, well, I will go next then with the Rex for it dies. Let's see if it can mm -hmm. do what it needs to do. I think if it gets extremely lucky kill the cat here. It's not likely, but it could. So we will begin by swinging on that big cat. Mm -hmm. Cat has a 10. Just noticed something. What's because that? Because I have another scheme already there in the middle, I can't actually interact. Um, so oh, that's what true. I'll, what I'll do is I'll just say that the emissary just focuses for his last AP, because I think Perfect. that's the, the least thing that changes something on the board, right? So. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, you flipped. I'll flip here. I'm on a 16 at the moment. Uh, I'm on a 10. Go ahead. It's the rampage trigger to push through models. Mm -hmm. uh, first, that will be four damage. Takes three. Because of this angle, I'm actually going to need to clip my own emissary when I charge through. Mm -hmm. So the emissary will need to take a 13 duel as well. Which he just passes. Yeah, he needs a 13. He got exactly a 13. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to cheat this in to pass. Nice, very well. Uh, second AP, the Rex will then use Nasa Jaws on him again. I'll use Predator Instant this time on the attack. Mm -hmm. 15 to 16. You got him. Not cheating. On three cards lowest then. Uh, this trigger lets him heal. Three damage. That's a dead Schrodinger. Bloop. And the board is yours. Sorry, Shrodinger's sure cat, didn't expect. Um, your hand must be fairly poor, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you when you're done. I'll show you when you're done. Um, so I guess Renan Wells will walk in time for the last strategy. Mm -hmm. We will then use Artemis to just... Uh, what do we do? So we need to, to stop sabotage. We need to put a ski marker here with the Archivist. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's nothing else relevant he can do because he can't s scoop up one of yours for one of his AP, so that's fine. So then there's a case of what can Artemis do? Um, I think she mm -hmm. can double walk. Now she needs to end engaged by one of my models, correct? Double check the wording if it's engaged or engaged. Always forget what this. Yeah is engaged by an enemy model of higher cost and that the chosen model has more than half its max HP. So HodgePodge only has an engagement of zero, so you'll have to get into base contact with him. Mm -hmm. 
get there. Okay. Well, it is what it is. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think she would be in range to use her uh, other ability, which is to remove ski markers either. So, that would happen. That's fine. Um, at that point, it's just the Oculus who just activates, drops his marker. As I say, does nothing else. Nothing else really matters um, for, for his activation. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the whole game, my friend. Yeah, uh, Artemis should have the walks to get into Hodgepodge Emissary's base because she's move six, right, and nimble. Is, but when I just tried it there, it didn't quite make because of getting around that thing. So, well. um, may I? Is that where she started? There, that's where she was. Okay, because I believe you can go one, one and a half, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. So that's just two walks. I wonder how I got it wrong, sir. Uh, it looked like you might have been using the um, control arrow, which... That would be just, just a single move, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that'll explain it. I was like, it looks like it should be within 12 from there, right? It, it's useful for those tight corners and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, what's your... Uh, let me take a look at her bonus action. Because I think, um, you absolutely can be, um, I think the trick is, if you go there, I'll go there to clip your three ski markers, but be unable to see my one. Okay. Yeah, that makes, that seems to be the best. Let's just double check. Um, because I think... Just zoom in. Okay, yeah, you got it. You're good. So I just I flip black joker, right? I need a six for her. Mm -hmm. Nose to the ground. Nose to the ground. Well, do you have a six in hand? You do. All right. So boop, 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 boop. Those go away. Yeah, so she's got the trigger there to put an put one anyway in aura, so so she puts one there afterwards. I guess it didn't matter as much as I thought it did. Mm-hmm. And that is the, the game, I think. Yes, sir. Uh, so at the end of the turn, you will have successfully denied both my leave your mark and sabotage schemes. And you get your hidden martyrs point, you get your fourth strategy point, and what was your other scheme again? I do have leave your mark, which I believe I get one for, because I do have one within one of the... I have one that's also within an inch down here. Uh, it's too far from the center, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. There we go. So you'll get the that. Part of the, the second part of the scheme is just be within four, but the first part is just if the opponent doesn't have one within one, and you do, then you mm -hmm. Yep, so you're choosing the reveal aspect. All right. Uh, I am going to do a quick mo moment to tell the World Series folks. Two for Hidden Martyrs, one for Levy Mark. Mm -hmm. Four for Simple. And I believe you have one for Symbols. Yep, just the one for Symbols. Just a moment. Thank you very much for the game. Oh, oh for sure. <laughs> and very as, as soon as you declared park, I was thinking, oh, it's such, it's so good in ski market pools, how much can I find an edge? I'd also just like to say thanks for um, managing to, to play today. Um, I wasn't as clear as I should have been when I first arranged the time. So thank you for um, putting the other game because this is the only chance I'll have. Oh, absolutely. 
I, you know, reading comprehension, it's important, and communication's important. So thank you for uh, checking in and following up and doing all the good stuff that we're supposed to do. Um, I had fun. I mean, you stomped me good, but I had fun. What? Yes, I admit going into this, I was a little bit leery. I mean, I knew that Cooper could deal with my hard to kill stuff with his gun, but I also figured that there was a lot of threat in, in the center, and if I could get Midnight around the building, it would be a lot harder for you to get a bead on him with Cooper. And then the rest of your crew seemed mobile, but not fast enough to get strategy points. I figured the dogs would do that for you. What I didn't really appreciate was, A, the value you were getting out of Vernon and Wells and the Archivist, especially the Archivist. Uh, you went first every turn. So big. I, um, I think the mod probably a bit too strong, to be honest, for its cost. Because this is out of the word and you still win the time. Mm -hmm. You really gave me a big advantage in this game. A little bit of card draw, scoring place to make sure you can see the stalker, for example. Like all these little things add up. It really does. It also is nice to see that a master who convent the, the conventional readings that I've had of explorers um, and haven't really done much with Cooper and it's always been a he's the combat one knowing that he is flexible enough to play into the more schemey pools is nice. Um, Cooper's interesting because he actually does a lot with schema pools. He's not great at interacting necessarily. Mm -hmm. The interact, he's not that good at it. Although the dogs give him some options because they're so fast. But when it comes to schema, because he does have a lot of options, because like he's got his built-in trigger to place a marker when you kill. Mm -hmm. He can do that with his own runaways, because they count as enemies. Um, then the runaways can escape, and then you get a schema anywhere, which is just superb. And then the dogs are both good at placing and removing markers. So I think in a very interact heavy pool, he can just squeeze by if some of them are marker based. Um, but he also brings that sort of lethal edge that can make it tough for the opponent. Mm -hmm. so I, re I really like so I'm really enjoying it. Definitely. Um, well, I know it is getting late for you where you have a thing you have to get to. Um, before we yeah and um did you have anything you wanted to plug real quick we're relatively small meta here in New Zealand mm -hmm. and the Auckland scene which is the city I'm in is relatively small um, but we do have a, a small core of pretty dedicated players so it's really great playing with those guys um, and then just a shout out to my opponent today Jim it was a really really enjoyable game and appreciate you helping me with the style because that's not really my screen so <laughs> I learned a lot it was my pleasure um, so, yeah. Cheers, Jim. well you take care now and uh, have a good one Yep.